Now, not every day is like this, but a 9 a.m. start and finishing at 2.45 with a 15-minute commute, you cannot get much better than that. And people in the comments on a previous video said, you know, being employed is the only way to go. This is a perfect reason why that is not true. The, the days you do in, sometimes they're longer, but if you pick the right people, you get so much shorter days, you, you have a much better working environment. You're working, you know, with these company owners so they appreciate and see uh, your work and, and they appreciate you. It's just so much better. It's just so much better being self-employed, um, even with the extra tax complications, you know, you've got to do your tax returns. But if you're making enough, you can pay an accountant and, and get over that hurdle. If you're the right type of person, becoming self-employed should be your main goal in the tree industry, really. It takes a lot um, to make that jump, and it can be quite scary, but I really do heavily recommend it. Don't go into it too early, but don't go into it too late. I feel like you can use the company to gain your skills and make your mistakes. And when you're comfortable and confident in yourself, not only with your climbing ability, but your ability to talk to people and build connections, because that's a large portion of being self-employed is networking and, you know, being that friendly guy who is approachable. Um, but now it's not directed at clients, it's directed at people and company owners and getting your name out there and doing a good job and being honest while you, you do it and you can make a lot of money. And you can quite easily segue into being a self-employed subcontract climber into being a company owner. Um, that's something that potentially could be in the works in the future, but building up um, a network of local people, building up your kit and making some money to invest back into yourself. It's like a baby step into that, but you can go down the direction and focus on subcontract climbing and still be very profitable. Uh, you your gross profit may be less than a small company owner, but the net profit after deductions could be quite similar uh, because being a small company owner, you need the truck, you need the chipper, you might start employing people and paying their wages and it will soon add up. So you could be making 100,000, but after your deductions, you could be making a similar amount to just being a sole trader and being a subcontract climber. So. I really think being a subcontract climber is the way.